I'd love to get an education from Barbara on the, on, on the budget. <laughs> if there is one such a thing. Um, Barbara, how much money between the two towns was appropriated this year? Um, that's Jonathan. I, you know what, prepared myself for the other um, accounts, but I, I don't, I didn't bring the um, budgeted accounts. Um, I thought you were interested in the kind of revolving gate pass um, cash thing. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, no, it's okay. well, I mean, I'm interested in both, obviously. I think. I figured you had the budget, so I didn't bring that. Okay. Um, are you um, at the town offices? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Because it was posted at Zoom, so I wasn't sure that you were going to be at the office. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, so, okay, so what's in the revolving accounts right now? Um, there is four small accounts, and altogether is just over $4,000. Um, so I, I kind of created a summary today, um, thinking that we would talk about this account just to see um, how they net out each year. So I went back a number of years, actually back to FY13, um, just to get an idea. And it seems like um, in general, they get by, you know, they're not really turning a profit and they're not really losing. Um, so gate passes pays for um, things like the electric down there and water testing, um, the printing the passes and annual permit, that kind of thing. Um, they have a picnic every year. Um, in the last nine, 10 years, they've had two um, significant projects. One was the black topping for like 7,500. That was in FY14. And then in FY16, they uh, redid those docks for about seven, $8,000. Um, but other than that, they just kind of pay for what, what they need to. Um, this doesn't pay for um, the lifeguard um, payroll or anything like that, or, or the um, property insurance, or I can't think of what else they might have. So it kind of divides that way. Is the four accounts, is there a mandate for those? No. <laughs> so we could consolidate all four, couldn't we? We did. We, we closed out one. We actually had uh, five at one time. We closed out one when we did those that big dock project. So, so yeah, I don't know why, you know, maybe trying to take advantage of interest rates at one point or something, but yeah, there's no need to have them in separate accounts. What are the what are the four existing accounts, Barbara? Um, where are they? There's one at People's United. Um, um, what are they? Do they have designated? Yeah, they're just um, savings accounts. Really, yeah. East Hampton Savings. There's a passbook at Greenfield Savings. Yeah. Okay. They're not doing anything, you know, much like all accounts these days with you know small balances. So essentially, they're not re they're not like revolving accounts. Um, well, you know this um uh this district, as it's set up, um kind of has the the passes, the the money that they get from the gate passes, um they're allowed to you know pay for certain things. So it's not really a fiscal year. So, I mean, it's kind of like a revolving that they, they, they have access to the gate fee um, proceeds. Right. And I wonder and, if I should just drive down so I can give you this. <laughs> I love it, but I don't want to put you out I'll, I'll either. I know it's probably, it, it probably would be easier because um, I'm having technical issues tonight. I just went through two computers and, and I'm on my phone talking to you. So it's not the best, but I think this info that I did today might be helpful. So if you guys have something else to talk about um, for about seven minutes, <laughs> I'll just run down. Could I ask one question? Sure. Uh, is there a department code I could make some copies with? I don't, I don't know. Uh, you cut out. Is there a 
What? I just wanted to make a copy of a document I had that I could give to um, Diane and, and um, John. If I, and mm -hmm. I don't remember my codes or any codes on any of the committees I'm on. Oh, I can I can do that when I get there. Okay. Thanks. Okay, so I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. All right, Barbara. Thanks, Barbara. Okay, no problem. Bye. So, sounds like we've got, I think, I think I recall the operating budget between the two towns. The town's is seventeen or eighteen thousand dollars a year. Yeah. Um. Well, we'll wait for this. How's it been? Cool. Yeah. Are you on the senior citizen search committee? Um, well. Ultimately, I'll go to me, Trevor, and Tom Pride and Cabots, but um, the respective councils on aging and the town administrators are doing the original, the initial <laughs> review of <laughs> resumes. Um, <laughs> let me see if it's in here. <laughs> oh, they know report for it. Somewhere in here. Now, my question is um, can we use some community? Uh, preservation Act funds for any anything at the Tritone? We could. Um, we can apply. Um, we are recreation after yeah. all. The I mean, time it seems, it, a, to me, it seems like a suitable thing, other than the fact that it's enlightening. So I don't know if that complicates. Oh, I don't think so. Because again, this, the, 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 the regional school district is in Deerfield, but all four towns community preservation act put into different functions of of that. So I, that's not that's not an issue. Um, you know, timing is not necessarily ever our friend. And lately, the CPA again. I, I guess we have to compartmentalize what we need to do to be open next June. Mm -hmm. And then what we need to do long term to, to continue to provide a better guest experience. Mm -hmm. And the CPA money, because of the calendar, would be for long term because the money won't be available until, until if it passes, until after our respective town meetings, mm -hmm. which would be so, you know. Mm -hmm. July, you know, June 15, whatever. Because our, our weekly town meeting now is in June every year. Okay. Um, in 2020, fiscal 2020, I don't know how the hell we spent it because we didn't even open in 2020, but that's okay. Um, there was a total budget of $6,310 for the swing program, summer swing program, which was had zero expenses against it. And then a Tritown Beach expense budget in the town of Deerfield for $17,321. That's just Deerfield. That's just Deerfield. And the six and change was revenue from the swing program. Uh, six and change is not necessarily revenue from the swing program, it's a budgeted amount. So there was $23,000. Six hundred and thirty-one dollars budgeted, right? Um, and of that, uh, of the seventeen thousand three hundred and ten, seventeen thousand three hundred of it was spent. Right, because they obviously didn't spend the swim program. Though I'm not sure why that. I, I don't know how that. I don't know how they program spent, would be. Yeah, but I'm questioning how they spent seventeen thousand three hundred and ten dollars in a year that they didn't even open the beach. I don't know. And nothing obviously was done over there. So. <laughs> Well, I think they probably did pull weeds occasionally. Mm -hmm. That's my guess. So, um, or at least pull weeds from the beach itself. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Again, just a just a guess. 
Yeah, yeah. Be <laughs> My question for Barbara is going to be okay. So we so the, the revolving accounts, the revenue streams are the in, in the gate fees and the annual dues, mm -hmm. but what is that annual revenue? Right. Dollar. Mm -hmm. That just tells us that build up over the years. Right. But we don't know you know revenues and expenses. Um, you know, it would be four thousand dollars. Right. Four thousand plus let's assume that the if if, if they you know weekly flat line flat flat uh the, the flat budget. So that 17 is just gear field. Weight is probably is let's call it a third of that. I have no idea. Yeah, let's call it a third of that for, for just argument's sake. So let's say it's five thousand dollars. Um so let's say that there's twenty two thousand dollars that is sitting there to be used. Potentially budgeted for the year, but um Obviously, there are some expenses that go through no matter what happens. <laughs> Although I can't imagine it's seventeen thousand three hundred eleven dollars worth. Well, I want to find out if the water is shut off in that bathhouse, mm -hmm. because if the water is shut off in the bathhouse, which it should be, we shouldn't have an electric bill. Uh, There's no reason to if, heat. if the meter's hooked up. Yeah, you shouldn't have much of an electric bill. Well, you could shut off the meter. You could just shut off. Yeah, the, I mean, you could just disconnect right from the grid. Right. Um, Is there yeah. any lights there for security? Hmm? Is there any lights around that there for security? There's nothing yeah. lit. No. Um, uh -uh. I went down there Wednesday, hopped the fence to go in and rate weeds out of there. Mm -hmm. Pond to send to the guy I was, you know, in email correspondence with, and uh, he's confirmed that it's something my daughter had confirmed two years ago with another guy. And there's a possibility that what it is is an invasive species. So, which it, is, it wouldn't be protected by anything, obviously. No, but any anything you do to eradicate or um, mediate the the weed. Has to be passed through the national heritage right. process because it has to be permitted so that we don't do damage to whatever is protected. So the protected species trumps the need to eradicate an invasive species because the invasive species is not good for the right. overall environmental but health. The, yeah, but the protected species is the one that they're out to protect. They, right. Not be in, in well, the question is maybe this invasive species it's harmful to the could threaten, could threaten the uh, so the maybe we should be removing that would be my vote. <laughs> well, um, you know, as a as a segue into the discussion, once we find out what we've got for money, um, and this gentleman's been kind enough to just ballpark me some figures and talk in general, general, um. Uh, general terms about what it looks like sitting at a computer and looking at a, a digital map of the pond and uh, pictures that I took of the conditions. Yeah. Um, and you saw, I think, I don't know if you've read the email that I got back yeah. from him, but um, mm -hmm. he's saying, do you want to do something about the ones that are growing in the beach shore, is, you know, on the edge of the water as well as what's under the water? And Hi there. Okay, that's hey, weird, right? Sorry, yeah. I haven't. We're, we're still on because we're recording this. So. Okay, sorry, I'm in Zoom attire. <laughs> Good Zoom attire is critical. It's important. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, okay, so. Well, I'm going to get any of my computer sword. Um. So, you know what, I think I was thinking when I was driving down here, if I could probably look up the budgets because they're on our each of our oh. websites, if that's critical in your conversation. I, well, he just looked up Deerfield's oh. annual report and that was, what did you say, seven, north of 17? Well, it, this was in 2020. This is from this, oh, you know, I just went yep, and yep. grabbed the, uh, the yep. report. Yes, yeah. yeah. Um, so it's showing a budgeted amount and the total total expenses against it of all but ten dollars. 
So yeah, so it would be um, like Brenda takes care of that account because yeah, okay. it's a budget account. Right. Um, so I know we have to pay the property insurance. We pay the lifeguard staff things. You know, um, I I don't recall what else might come out of there. So the only um, thing that would be paid payable when the beach district is not open would be the property insurance. I didn't think about property insurance. Yeah. Oh, I did. Mm -hmm. Property and liability. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so we wouldn't have to do water testing. We wouldn't need to turn the electricity. We, we had it turned off. You um, did? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, it discontinued the phone a while ago. You can see that that stopped. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, um, so we didn't really do much of any of that last year <laughs> you know staff salaries mm -hmm. um i mean they're they're under i would assume the summer swim program um no summer swim is separate so that's actually the people that do the swim lessons okay. but i don't know that they really it's not actually the staff nope okay. no they're separate i guess i had a question about that now it, it, it's showing that as a cost but doesn't mm -hmm. isn't it doesn't it get offset by revenue um yeah, that's a good question. I, I I don't know how that works because they do obviously um, charge for the swim lessons. Because um, it's, it's a charge to River Valley, right? No, River Valley Day Camp, they um, rent the um, Tritown Beach for like $500 okay. um, to bring the kids down from- So that's from separate from the swim program. That goes to Tritown. That goes to try town, not the swim lessons. Right. I guess I I guess I thought <laughs> the swim lessons were River no, Valley. No. Okay. No, no swim lessons are mostly towns, um, children come and and the um, town yeah. pays for that. Um there's a budget, but there's also a charge to the people to do right. the swim lessons. So you pay to take the swim lessons and mm -hmm. the staff, and usually it's the, the lifeguard staff. Um, well, it's always been um the two women there. And then oh, that's right. And, and, and then, and then um, right. And then when she didn't um, do it again, I don't even think they had them. Um, okay. The last, that could be when the last zero. possible year. Okay. I don't think there were swim lessons um, pre COVID. So, so, Barbara, and I apologize mm -hmm. for all these questions. I apologize for not having answers, yeah. but I'm happy to get them for you. The gate passes. I <laughs> guess I heard when we were talking about the revolving accounts, I thought I heard. That gate revenue, mm -hmm. meaning right annual dues. Yeah, when people come in and buy a, a sticker, right to would go. go would go to revolving. We, that's right. And that's this here. includes. Oh, yeah. this is just revolving. Yes, that's all I take care of. So I'm the treasurer gotcha. for this, um, for the beach, and then those things are paid through the budget. How that ever got straightened out, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, um, then, now I'm starting to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what I did is this is the actual. Um, I keep track of it on. Um, oh my gosh. I'm sorry. There's a lot going on in my today. Um, but here's the detail for each um, fiscal year for which okay. I've summarized kind of there. So. And, they, and if memory serves, it's the membership or the annual dues, whatever you want to call it, is yep. thirty-five dollars a person or a family or. Yeah, I think it's um per car, right? And you can just pack right. in as many as you want to that mm -hmm. car or not. Oh so, yeah, it, it's funny that it's not off the top of my head because we didn't really do any last year, right? So yeah. I can't even remember what it was. Although I have the um, little trifold uh, details on my desk, so I could I could look at it. So, I mean, if you, I'm not going to try and do the math because that would be silly. Um, well, I, I figured you could kind of peruse that, maybe not completely digest it as we sit here, but it, it, yeah. I thought it might be helpful. Yeah, no, I just am looking at at mm -hmm. the, the last full functional. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, it was open all of fiscal 20, wasn't it? Yeah, of course it was. Um. Well, fiscal 20 ended after, with COVID. March of 20 is when COVID. Right, but the stopped. beach was open. Not um, June, July. Well, yep. I'm just saying June, July, 
of 20, it, it wasn't open, but. But June, July. July, August, 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 yeah. Right, so. <laughs> but um, the other thing that has a, a huge impact, um, maybe not as big as COVID, but is um, a lot of times by the end of the year, they were closing. Remember, they had a couple of years where they, and I, I'm thinking maybe it was 19, where they had the um, LG or what the water testings were coming back and they had, remember, they had, to close and and yeah. people and they had to, they had to close. Um, so I was looking at, sometimes you can kind of tell those active years by the amount of water testing, because they had to do a water test and then have to have two good water tests before they could open again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking maybe 19 was the year that it's, you know, 50, that's the high water mark in 2010, but 516. Right. Yeah. 15, so, um, so that might be an interesting thing to look at is, you know, what the impact of um, a short term, yeah. you know, but but I, I guess, but even even using fifty two seventy one, and it's thirty five. Mm -hmm. That's only one hundred and fifty cars. Mm -hmm. Yep. I think that I I don't know if you guys have talked about um, other uses or what have you for for the beach or how to get more people interested in going or doing something other than. Um, relying on swim because we do have the LG E. coli problem and, and that's costly in, in, in both revenue and people being able to go. Um, generally, by the end of the year, they bought their pass anyway, but there's certainly no day passes at that point. Um, and you don't know the breakdown between the annual pass and the day pass. I, I think it's on my desk actually. Um, I can grab that. And I brought this too. I, I ended up with a bill from what used to be leader. Did somebody buy Oh, something? I did. I bought two locks because we're going to chop okay. the current lock. Okay. Are they still locked, Ken? Yeah. Is uh, it locked? The one down the main gate is locked. So when mm -hmm. somebody came and I had the highway the guys take the trash out. Okay. So they reseated the, the post and relocked the uh, the lock. And I don't dare take that post out again. <laughs> um, do you have something you want me to copy? Um, um, when I go to my office, I'll copy it. Sure. So what am I supposed to do with this more of a sign? You know, just, yeah. You just and if there, if there is an expense, it's helpful to just send me like, hey, here's the invoice. I just bought something. So when the bill comes, I know <laughs> that it's correct. Funny you mentioned that. Um, and, and I don't know how often you're meeting or Bill Sprosky used to come to my office and, and we would go over the bills, you know. Um, it's usually just the you know, usual electric bill and I'm happy to come. Perfect. Do I need to do anything with that? No, but if you would, whoever's in charge of spending money. We haven't designated that, so. <laughs> well, All three of us can sign, that would be the easiest. Oh, thing. both of this is a Yeah, those one? two. Yeah. Okay. You know, the, one, the color one won't copy. Yeah, you what I did, so you guys. Does it need to be colored? What's that? Want color? If, if you could make that one color, yes, oh, okay. great. Not, hang on one second. Barbara. Barbara. Oh, interesting. It's really interesting. Um, the um, senior citizens got a discount too, you know, for their pass. They get a discount, right? Mm -hmm. in, both, in both towns, probably. I think anybody that went to use it, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I personally think that the amount to be raised significantly but a little bit. Say that again? I, I think they could be raised. I don't think they've been raised no. in, I, in a long time. I, I think if we're giving a product, it's, as long as it's a product that will stay open, doesn't have the water quality issues, um, and stays open the whole season, we can get a full season out of it. Yeah. Okay. Do we want to raise you know, immediately, or do we want to try and get reopened and see if we can get some interest in the place? That's the question. Um, I think if we raised it a little bit, right? I think I don't think people. I don't think my guess is most people don't remember what it was, and it was thirty-five. Wasn't it? Yeah. So let's say if we raised it to fifty, no one's gonna. Well, that's what I was thinking. I mean, I know it's not a significant amount, but 
I mean, if we tell people the weeds are gone, <laughs> you can swim without being right. covered in weeds. They, you know, there'll be people that'll be happy with that. What I what I was thinking we could do is if if we cleaned up the sand and really made a good beach as opposed to I, I made my impressions known before that I know when I go to the beach, I don't want to walk on pebbles. Um if we if we got new sand and we cleaned up the the two miles, well, not two miles, the two acres. Two was point, it? two and a half, two point seven acres is what he outlined, right? And and th and which is fine. And then if people want to swim beyond that, well, then they're if you swim in the lake, you're going to swim around that kind of stuff. And had sort of a grand reopening to show people. Um. I don't think they changed at all. Uh, so see, they have this is how they do the 35, 50. Okay, good. C senior citizen 10. Wow. Mm -hmm. yeah, but that means that grandparents can bring 10 grandchildren for $10. Well, you know, I, I, I personally I think we have to revisit that because, mm -hmm. you know, it's I think the biggest problem is how many people are going, not maybe so much how much they're paying <laughs> when they get there. I don't know that it's being attended very well. I don't know. I, I think you're right. And I think that I don't think there's any checking about whether somebody has paid. Yeah. And most people aren't saying, and I'm generalizing, and I could mm -hmm. be wrong. I don't think a lot of people are asking, hey, do you, what's your pass? Right. Oh, it's $30. I don't have to do it. Okay. Well, I'll choose. Well, I don't have any reason to believe that's happening, um, but. I know that my family's never been asked for a dime. Really? My brother comes up here and for some reason he romanticizes Triathlon Beach. We didn't grow up around here. <laughs> he just likes the quaintness. <laughs> and he lives in Louisville. <laughs> okay. And he's never been asked for a dime. He just he drives in and he's happy to pay it. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Well. We need to make it more attractive for people, and um, I think myself or some people that I know, it's there's been a couple years where the season got cut in half, or 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 people call when the beach is closed because of the water passing, mm -hmm. and so I think maybe they might even be reluctant to buy the pass at the end of the year, not knowing if they're going to end up being able to use it all year or. Randomly, it'll be closed. Do we know? Do we know, Barbara, when the hot sales months were? The oh, season passes. I think it was right away in June, July. It July, was June, but it wasn't yeah. May. No, because we don't usually open until the kids are out of school. Right. No, well, my point is, were people buying them in preparation yeah. for? No, because they buy them at the beach. So if no one's at the beach working, oh, then they're not buying buy. them. And there's no online purchase right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's something we have to fix. Well, yeah, because I'm because again we were talking before. What I'm envisioning, again because of the impression that people have, I listen weekly. That mm -hmm. I hate this mask. Um, <laughs> that it's a dump. It's not clean. It's not. It's it's not attractive. So what I'm thinking mm -hmm. is if we could have a grand reopening. A look what we've done and make sure that the sand is sand as opposed to crushed mm -hmm. rock. The water is cleaned up. I think those are your biggest. Um, the fencing levels. is cleaned up mm -hmm. so it doesn't look like a compound, or, you know. A, right. Um, it, it just looks inviting. Mm -hmm. um, maybe a new, you know, we look at the pavilion, uh, you know, mm -hmm. new picnic tables, that kind of thing to real, and a new bathhouse. That's going to be the expensive part. Right. Um, I, I then if we had a an open house mm -hmm. and we yeah. offer something for free. Yeah. And if people and, and we can say, you know what, this is free, we're gonna pass the hat if anybody wants to offset some of our costs. Mm -hmm. Um I think that's something we I think that's the kind of thing we have to do. Um you know what I said before. I, I would I would get a one day liquor license. I would get a couple of food trucks. Mm -hmm. I think all that's great. With all due respect, um, I think that 
the um, beach cleaning up the water and keeping it is is has been the challenge for everyone who's right. who's been here. There there um, really doesn't seem to be a clear answer as to how to. Well, I see laboratory testing. I don't see any consultations going on. So what does that mean? I mean, anybody that was hired to Correct. come in and Correct. assess. So that's what I mean. I think that might be the first step is to find out how to remedy the, the oh. issue with, like you said, the cleanliness of the water. I mean, to clean it, that's great. But I mean, think, I think some people who have sat here before have found that to be um, yeah, biggest challenge. Absolutely. There's, I don't disagree. Yeah. Um, there's no um, general salaries in here. The only salaries that are consistently in here are yours or the right. treasurers. Yeah, they give me a schedule. So where would salaries and wages be? That's in the budget. In the, for the, like, so that's in the budget, it doesn't show in the general ledger. Then. This is, this, I'm just speaking about the revolving. Okay, okay. Like, okay. this is strictly report. report. Okay. Like, yes. um, and there are right. no salaries paid out of revolving. Other no, than they pay a stipend. Yeah, your I stipend. didn't take any last year, but I'm not now I'm doing it. Yeah. So, so if I, we I could really somehow get a, you know, just a general yeah. printout, of, it doesn't mean if you go back to 2013, I don't think. Like well, probably... the only reason I did that oh, is no, because. Oh, this is great. Yeah. Because Absolutely. to look at um, the last couple of years, they're kind of an anomaly, and then, you know, you don't get a, a true picture of how it can kind of fluctuate. Mm -hmm. so, okay. And the picnic but, is typically midsummer. At the, towards the end, I believe. Yeah, they usually go to like Cheslex or Millstone, and um, I did group that kind of miscellaneous together. Um, the picnic being one of the larger ones, but anything like what you just did at, at Leader Lumber, or, you know, uh, I think they fixed the fence at one point, and there was like hundred and fifty dollars or something. Yeah, so all of that, rails. all that I kind of uh, grouped into that. So. Okay. So that's not just picnic, it's picnic and other miscellaneous things, but what you have in your right hand will have the detail of um, the expenditures. Yeah, this is good. yeah I'm just giving you an idea of what's being spent. So. Is there any is there any way of getting a couple of years of the um, budget? Oh yeah, I'll ask Brenda's on vacation this week, but yeah. she'll be back Monday and I'll have her run so those. Just yeah. put it on a yeah. Document that can be emailed, mm -hmm. that's fine. Yeah. Why does it seem mm -hmm. that Eversource is really high? Because they don't have lights down there except from the pavilion. Mm -hmm. It's not open at night. It's like 40 something dollars a month. It's $42 a month. Mm -hmm. But in the winter, why is there any electricity? Well, there usually we be. did. Um, um, but it, what do they call it? Inactivated or something. Yeah. Right. But but again, if you're let's say you're open three months a year, $40 right. a month. That's, right. Yeah. That's $120 well, and it's a $500 bill. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Right. It does have 12 months in uh, 18, 19. So mm -hmm. um, who knows what they're running with it. But that's not a lot of electricity. Yeah. I think oh. there was like a basic as well. Even when, maybe like a basic that they charged even when we weren't like using it. But the last time I had them, I said, we're not, we're closed. So it just needs to be off. Yeah. Right. Um, great. Who was removing trash all of a sudden when that got? Yeah, they stopped that too. I don't know how the trash was being removed, but. I have a feeling that Bill was taking on a lot maybe, of responsibility. Yeah, so. yeah. He might have. But the trash was getting really expensive, and you know the the revenue was was going down. The they were having trouble with the E. coli and all that, and so it was just kind of like we can't have these expenses. Because right. what you'll remember this, Barbara. Mm -hmm. Yeah. These guys might not be so aware that it it is sort of emblematic of what happened at what was happening at the senior center mm -hmm. when. The costs were being covered by other things, and there wasn't a true understanding of what it cost to run the senior center. Right, right. Because they were having gift money during right. the final couple months of the, of the fiscal year. And which, that's kind of what I was hoping to draw a good picture it, here. You exactly. Know? Yeah. yeah. And you need a few years to look at it because some years right. are different than others. Mm -hmm. Long knowing Bill was doing it. 
Mm-hmm. Well, I know so, that the three of us aren't going to do that. We're going to. There was a guy lawn mowing because he called me, and I'm thinking I never paid him, so that must come out of the budget. And I approved a, a, a mm-hmm. final yeah. lawn mowing bill. It wasn't okay. that much. Right. Yeah. He called me and he's like, "Are they opening?" And I said, "I don't, I don't really know." But come to think of it, that must be um, in in that account. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's a neat little spot down there, and I don't know if you could kind of cultivate other activities um, that are not necessarily water activities. I don't know. You have a great plan. The water testing. But I, like you said, I, don't, I really don't know what a consultant or whatever would cost to oh, really, wow. really get to the bottom of that. Mm-hmm. The issue with the water. My guess is based upon well, we don't know how the money's been how the seventeen plus probably wait it's probably in the five range is my guess. Yeah, maybe they spent it out of the budget. Maybe there has been some of that activity like, out of the budget because I feel like they tried to look into it, but it seemed like an, an enormous um you know, kind of question mark not being the scientist really. Or or it would require, I don't know if it would require kind of dredging. Is it all the um, algae and what have you at the bottom? I'm, I'm not really sure. I, when I had SVE down there, mm-hmm. the guy at SVE said dredging is just going to be expensive and it doesn't solve anything. Right. right. It might allow for more water flow, mm-hmm. but he he said. They, they make some stuff, they make a, a phosphorus thing mm. that you could put down to, to, to tamp down mm. growth right. under the water. Right. Um, can you get rid of the geese? I don't think you can get rid of the geese. There's 25 or 30 of them out can there. Can you put the owls out or something? Like if you're um, farmers secret way to keep the geese out. It would be interesting. Mm. Right. I look at it, I mean, as I was down there rummaging around the other day, walking the shoreline and trying to get weed samples and things and watching the geese, Mm -hmm. it was so idyllic and quiet and peaceful. And Mm -hmm. I'm going, man, this is not a bad place. Is there some way to get paddle boats or something out that that people can rent and use on the pond and explore the pond? And my axe is going to keep the geese away. And right. People could use, you know, encourage people to use kayaks, although there's a liability issue involved if people bring their own stuff in or if we're They used to have boats. Um, kayaks there. Yeah. Yeah. Go out. yeah, I wouldn't yeah. let people bring their own stuff in. This is, yeah. That's a revenue chain. It's, it's sort right. of like at Fenway. You don't let people bring in mm-hmm. sandwiches anymore. And I know a lot of them was running a paddle boat concession down in East Hampton on one of their ponds. Mm-hmm. Um, might be willing to talk to her and see what she'd think. Um, anyways. Even, you know, mm-hmm. these um, food trucks on a certain night or something. I mean, it's got right. nothing to do with the water, but it's, it's something it's, to do with the John's property. Talking, you know? Jonathan's been talking about. So mm-hmm. as, a, as a first step, I'm not, I want to put a restaurant down there. But, okay. the, first no. thing, but no. the first thing is to get the beach right. fixed, the, mm-hmm. the weeds under control in the sure. swimming area. Yeah. And the landscaping. And, and the landscaping. Um, and get a hard number on that to put into the budget and see what what that does. Uh, I think right. people would be excited about it if they could really feel good about swimming down there. I I agree. Yeah, I think that's the biggest hurdle is all that. Mm-hmm. Um, I think, the water. I think mm-hmm. we need to do a better job monitoring beach use. Mm-hmm. Um, I think some kind of rather than a, a paper thing, you know, yep. you put in a, an electronic. Whatever it is, because well, those get borrowed. <laughs> What's that? You know, everybody can borrow those. I suppose. Well, but there's some. It's got to be Something. some way around. Yeah. Um, right. And again, I, I want to find solutions that let's figure out how to make it work, as opposed to right. And because I I do worry that one pass and you get ten people. Mm-hmm. And yeah. then somebody leaves and they take the pass. Oh, it's the same pass. And so it's, it's, mm-hmm. I, I just, 
you know, some mechanism to monitor who's using it. And I know that my finance committee is going to want to know that because oh, definitely. They're, they're doing it for the senior center. If, mm-hmm. we, don't, yeah. if we don't know how many seniors are using it, we're not funding you guys anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I think those are all good things, but we have to keep in mind the personnel that are hired are generally and running it during the summer are generally high school. And honestly, it was really difficult the last full season, um, to, the pre-COVID season, to to get people. We we didn't get any swim people. Right. And um, so to get people was was hard too. Yeah. Well, the uh, wage structure is going to be considerably different now two years later. Yep. Right. So, so yeah. So we've got some budgeting questions. That's why it'd be nice to see the budget and right. try and piece things together. Um, but I think if you make it really attractive, then then we can talk about the, the fee structure. Um, right. If nobody wants to go, then it doesn't matter how much you charge them. But I think we I think the first thing is to clean it up. Oh, and then absolutely. again, I'm talking, you know, tennis courts, basketball courts. Mm-hmm. All these things to make it a club atmosphere mm-hmm. to draw uh, uh, people. I mean, I, at one point, they did this in Devons, you know, the old Fort Devons yeah. that they turned into an economic development yeah. community. They have a thing like this. And I talked to the guy who sort of drove that, and he said, oh, well, you guys have it so much better than what we have. But they hired, but they had the population. Mm-hmm. They right. hired a firm to manage it. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. So you had your board, right? but the firm managed it, yeah. and the firm got a cut. Of the revenue, if you guys think they want to make it work, mm-hmm. and it's still like that, right? Because they're not a town; they're a they're like an enterprise. It's an enterprise, yeah. and and they hire people. Yeah, and if I, I go there all the time for meetings. So. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I'm just thinking mm-hmm. if we can if we can get the the trend lines moving in the right direction, yeah. then we can talk about all my grand plans of a restaurant and a liquor license and basketball courts. Yeah. And, we should get um, some kind of um, proposals on the water, I guess. Right. Yeah. The one thing that makes me nervous, I think that the environmental stuff is going to be the environmental stuff. Mm-hmm. And we can't really control that. We can fight, but we the, what they decided is that way they're going to decide. I think the three of us agreed that the bathroom really needs to be taken down. Mm-hmm. Or, or something needs to be done. But yeah. yeah. I, I'm just I think not. major needs to be done. I, I'm wondering what kind of yeah. in what kind of community labor we could get to take it down and have plumbers and 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 mm-hmm. carpenters and electricians because we have plenty yeah. of them. Mm-hmm. Say okay, we're going to make this a, a week long project mm-hmm. and and take it down and and put it up. The challenge is. Is that the location that we want? I mean, we, there are just so many things we don't know what we want to do yet. Right. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Even maybe like a zip line or something to do other than the bathroom. Right. And you build a you you build the bath the bathrooms and the, mm-hmm. I guess I assume there's showers in there. I don't know. I have no idea what's in there. I don't think. So. I think they were just changing just, in bathrooms. Just changing. I don't bathrooms. think there were any showers. But do you build that for? I don't want to build that for these numbers. I want to build it for numbers we want to get to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because if you like build it for these numbers and you grow, you have to build a new bathhouse. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a good problem to have, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah I, don't, I don't want to be up on, I, I shouldn't say I don't want to be up there, but I, I don't want to sell something based on a pie in the sky as opposed to being mm-hmm. a little more realistic initially and getting a nice facility that can be easily expanded. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, so have a blueprint for expansion as needed. Mm -hmm. Site the building in such a way that what you build can easily be added on to. Yeah, that's Mm -hmm. good. Um, And that way we're just replacing essentially what's there for what has been the traffic volume, or maybe a little bit more. And we uh, work towards building up the traffic. Then when it becomes a public health concern, or, Mm -hmm. you know, we get to the critical mass that uh, requires additional steps. I mean, I can't think, I mean, the fact that I used to go there with my kids and my wife used to go there with the kids and neither one of us can tell you what the inside of that building looks like, tells me that a lot of the families that go there never use the facilities. Right. 
Um, so, and whether it's by choice or by lack of necessity, I mean, I could drive down, spend a couple of hours and go home and never have to use the facilities because I'm that close. But if we start drawing from outside communities, mm -hmm. And that's a question to ask. And certainly with the school using it, the kids uh, and stuff. And yeah. given the popularity of the Deerfield River, mm -hmm. um, if you've got a facility like the Tritown Beach that families from outside the community can drive to and spend 20 bucks, spend a day and, you know, enjoy it, who knows what, what we might have. And building something that, to use your point about, if I can go there and spend an hour or two, mm -hmm. To, to me, and just my lens, if you, if somebody just wants to spend an hour or two there, you don't have the facility you're trying to, you want somebody who wants to spend the entire day there. You're trying to draw people to spend it, you know, a, a significant portion of the right. day there. That, that's why I want to put, I want to, I want to get rid of the old dock. Not that right. Diane intends to the dock. <laughs> Exercise and, uh, mm -hmm. and, you know, a little bit of enjoyment. Right. And we put bike racks in there for kids who are going to ride their bikes there mm -hmm. every day. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, put in, I, I, I told these guys, I, I want to put in, and I think that's something we would want to do sooner or later. Instead of the raft, you know, that's out of the 1950s, mm -hmm. one of these bounce rafts mm -hmm. where you, yeah, you really have fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's <clears throat> lots of opportunity for so attractive um, things because it's neat but to get in the water. The sand is that we got to figure out the budget. Mm -hmm. Right. So what we should do tonight is set what additional things we want to, whether we want to continue down this road outlined here by this guy for testing, because to get permitting done and testing and plans put in place in time for next May to treat and get, get things under control in time to open in June, we got to get moving. This What's the tax status of this, Barbara? Is this a, this is a governmental entity? Mm -hmm. yeah. It is. Yeah. Governmental entities are not things that foundations like to fund. Mm -hmm. And and to do what we want to do, I think grant money would be really helpful. Because mm -hmm. I don't think we would be able to deal with $22,000. Right. Not if you also need but to. But there's a lot of interest in open space by grants, or I don't know if the two communities could use any open. Um, CPA could you use CPA money and afford some. Time, 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 well, you could, but not with the timing. Right, think, right. right. But, but, but for some of, you know, if you discovered that there was a remedy and, or whatever, yeah. and you were looking it, to do something different down there that required. The, the critical thing is if, if Deerfield voted. For instance, another seventeen thousand dollars in this year's budget. Um, mm -hmm. I don't remember what was in the budget because I wasn't. Mm -hmm. as, as I, think I think you budgeted flat. Right. I imagine we budgeted flat. So if we've got seventeen thousand dollars there, we at least five or six, and wait least five or six, we've got twenty-two thousand dollars, and mm -hmm. we're not spending it on anything in between now and June thirtieth, except. Some salaries, but you know, twenty-two thousand of it, we probably have seventeen or eighteen thousand dollars that we can spend. Right. I guess my I guess the, these immediate needs. The cautionary tale is that I, I think we do need sand replacement, so we've got to make sure we have enough to within that budget. Yeah. Right. Um, and then the remediation costs, and I just think that if you could find quick ten thousand dollar grants. I don't know if they exist. I don't know what, what's in what's in the DEP mm -hmm. for these kinds of remediation things. Mm -hmm. Well, that's it. The people that we can reach out to. What I wanted to do tonight was try and identify what and how and where we want to go from here. I did. You know, we've done some preliminary. Diane's done the national heritage. We've got these preliminary numbers from this is just one of the people I reached out to. Um, and you know they were recommended by a couple of guys at the DCR. I have um, the water mass water resource water waste. Yeah, WWRC from UMass. I reached out to them. They're basically a defunct organization, but they've pointed me 
to a couple more possible sources, one of which deals with water quality and monitoring and how, you know, what we can do. Because it's not just cleaning up the weeds, it's how do we control the E. coli and the other stuff that we have to monitor for mm -hmm. and, and make that water quality better. Does it involve aerators? And they're going to drive up our Western Mass Electric, electric Company right. bill, but they might help to keep the weeds out and improve the water quality. I don't know. Um, and I, well, right. And I think we need to spend money in order to find out what the demand is. Right. So, um, how much was the estimate of the testing? So, what, what this gentleman sent to me was um, he said, you know, you've got to you've got to go through national heritage permitting to be able to do anything about the weeds. Mm -hmm. So, in order to do that, he said, "Here's a firm. They would probably be from between six and eight thousand dollars." So, I just put eight thousand dollars on my little chart that I made. Just for the permit. Just for the permitting and identification of the issues, etc. Mm -hmm. Then, and you know, outlining of a plan, whatever plan we choose to do. Then he said, once they have that in place, it looks to him like 2.7 acres worth of property, I mean, uh, area that would be treated would cost about $3,000. And that would be an annual cost. Isn't that dependent upon what those remediation steps are, though? How does he know what it would cost until you know what the remediation is? Right. He's, he's doing it primarily based on the photos I sent him and yeah. a sample of the e whatever it is, <laughs> I can't even pronounce it. Um, but, you know, that's primarily what, what they were sweeping out of that area the last year that I remember it being open the last time I was down there for any kind of swimming. Um, that is the weed that was causing the problems. Now, you go there now, and yes, there's some weeds growing over the sand that's on the bottom of the swimming area, but mm -hmm. it's not like it was. He had a good point. This has been an unusual summer. Uh, yeah. The water level's way up. Mm -hmm. It's causing it, it's making it harder for the light to get to the plants. <laughs> so you don't see them on the surface, but they could still be there. Right. Sure. Um, so, you know, I've got these preliminary thoughts from him. I've got two other people that I've reached out to that haven't have yet to get back to me. I know he's given me another name um, that we could talk to about what's involved with doing an ass assessment and, you know, doing the National Heritage. This is just one organization. You talked about SVE. I don't know that they do. I don't think they do. I don't think they do this. I just happen to know them and they're environmental right. guys and they're knowledgeable. Yeah. Knowledge. yeah. Um, so it would be, and I would imagine, well, $3,000 doesn't put us into, um, Bidding. I was going to ask, are we even subject to public bidding? Probably. Yeah, I would think we are. Yeah. Anything over 5,000. Well, that right? means that the, mm -hmm. that, that, that the National Heritage Permitting Group would need to be bid out. Could, yep. Potentially. Um, you know, we need to consult and find out exactly what, what our recourse is to doing that. Um, yeah, there's all kinds of fun things to think about. It's not just as simple as <laughs> it's doing it. Um, I, but we can put together, certainly put an RFP together with the assistance of someone. Uh, Brian, I can, I can, well, but that's the other issue. I mean, as a commission, as a district, whatever you want to call it. Yep. How much access do we have to town function? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Really mind up, but yeah. Well, I mean, I was about to say, well, I can get Brian Dominant to do an RFP. Well, I'm not sure I can. If Brian works for the town of Waverly, Brian doesn't work for this commission. Right. You, you yes. have a stipend. Otherwise, I, right. I don't know. And it's in the um, founding things that this needs a treasurer that's bonded and whatever. So. It like spells out all right. So right. So right. it's not that like of the town it's not like the senior provide. center where right. I can say right because that's a function of the town. Correct. This isn't a function of the town. Mm -hmm. It really right. Well, it's um, it's a district form of the two towns. Right, but yeah. 
South right. Deerfield Fire District. They mm -hmm. don't rely on any town function, do they? Um, that's complicated. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yes, they do to some extent, but no, they don't. Right. <laughs> yeah. I, I'll ask Brian what, what, what he thinks. He would at least research sample RFPs. There must be, and it's Google, right. mm -hmm. National Heritage Permitting right. Companies. And an RFP doesn't have to be extensive. It just has to. And um, based on timing and what have you, you could um, incorporate it into your next budget saying that you need administrative help and that way it then would be shared between the towns essentially in the budget right right and the key to that is to show in progress right because mm -hmm. you won't sell it right 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 yeah like i think if you get some scientific backing that you you can move in that direction and and grow the place i'd be great all right yeah we need to we need to have an assessment mm -hmm. done yes it's, it's high time, mm -hmm. especially given the fact the last season we were open, we it had to be shut down mm -hmm. due to right. water quality. Right. That's not the first time, but so, that was a really I, bad I mean, year. A budget item for me going forward is a, mm -hmm. a qualified water quality expert, public water, you know, public right. water, it, whatever resource mm -hmm. quality assessment done. So that we've got professional advice on what we're doing. Right. Right. And uh, yeah, one of the emails that has, I, I identify someone I can reach out to on that side. Mm -hmm. um, lots of homework to do. As quickly yeah. As um, is there anything represented in any previous minutes that anything had um, I, I you know, gotten? So, yeah. um, that's a good question. I, well, I haven't seen anything, served. but I've reached yeah. out to Sharon Pachoric. Mm -hmm. And Sharon has, she's in a, she has archival quality notes and meet, right. meeting minutes and everything mm -hmm. from God knows when. When did she leave the district, the commission? Uh, not too long ago. No, two or three years. And she was on um, um, the swim? She, she ran the swim program. Yeah. She was ex so heavily involved with the Tri Town Beach. Um, that she was a commissioner and on the commission and or the committee, whichever it is, and mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah. 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 Um, and she, you know, heavily mm -hmm. involved with the swim program and everything else. I mean, just I think those last year has certainly been the constant right. for many, many, many years. So on the Triton end anyway. Right. Triton region. So I had sort of reached out to her and talked a, a little bit and say, can I get together with you and look at things? Mm -hmm. um, and she said yes, and so it's a matter of setting up a time to do that with her. Mm -hmm. uh, Labor Day is over, and uh, right. maybe my schedule is settling down. Strangely <laughs> enough, I do have a schedule, mm -hmm. um, even in retirement. Um, I'll be able to get together with her, and I can get try to get minutes or something out to people, copies of them, mm -hmm. find out what she has, and then we can share. Or how far people they had gotten, yeah. Um, I mean, she talked about things, Jonathan, about um, every year the uh, Northfield dive, dive team came in here, ran training, and did essentially did an assessment of the pond. Checked out the springs, made sure they were still flowing, things weren't getting plugged up, and you know, swim around underwater for it. As part of their training. As part of their, yeah. And, you Pro know, bono. Yeah. And it was, you know, and I thought, wow, that, that hasn't been done in a while. Um, you can't even it. swim anymore. Yeah. 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 Can they even swim there anymore? I don't know. So, at least you do it from the other end. Like, as soon right. as you come in, they right. wait on that. I had heard a rumor actually that originally that was supposed to be the end that people were going to swim from. Oh, really? That's, again, I don't know. I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I, as I was walking the other day, I said, either we hire someone or we pay someone to mow. All the way up that fence line into that big open area up there, have picnic tables up there. You mean on the south side? I mean, on the north, north side. side. Yeah, it's a beautiful spot up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, just make it 
a walking trail for people to be able to walk if they wanted to. Did, mm -hmm. did you try to walk along the rail, the rail tracks? Uh, no, I didn't go over that. Is side. there enough room? I, I didn't walk. Well, we can't walk no, there's right no now. way. It's unsure. With the high speed train? No. No, I meant down below, not all the way up, but yeah. oh. right on the right on the water's edge. I went over as basically as far as the raft and you know things were starting to get soggy, and then yeah. your bull rushes would just be on there. Yeah. Um, mm. If you went back farther, but those are things that can be explored. But to you know clean up the west e that west bank mm -hmm. all the way out to that north end and just keep it mowed, right? So people can walk and do things and maybe mm -hmm. you know. Um, but yet find out what that would cost. Whoever this gentleman is who was mowing that you were paying. Yeah. Right, right. Um, but again, that's something, well, that, that doesn't necessarily need to be bid, but it would be wise to put it out to bid and see what people, of course, yeah, wanted to, uh, to charge to do that, you know, or once a week or bi-weekly mm -hmm. mowing to keep that stuff knocked down. Right, well, to make it nice, I mean, you just literally landscape the entire thing. So you have picnic tables and mm -hmm. you have all the grills and mm -hmm. there's so much potential, but mm -hmm. so what, so what, Immediate steps do we need to, That's, to take? I don't want this all to be on you. Oh, it's not. I'm not. Believe me, I'm not taking it on. I'm, I'm busy working three days right. a week. So um, this was fit in between stints in the orchards. I'll, I'll check out. I'll, I'll check in with Brian about remediation RFP. Okay. Um, I, I think that's the. Who would know just so that we keep enough money set aside? Who would be able to assess the visual of? this in terms of what can we do to make it a more visually appealing place mm -hmm. i mean the fence really bothers me personally mm -hmm. um what how much would sand cost across the entire beach i mean what mm -hmm. who would know i don't even know right i think they have done something with sand haven't they uh, yeah. not in in my time but do you remember that, that? Obviously, yeah. something was done with sand because the uh, swim area mm -hmm. has a, a fair amount of sand in it, and mm -hmm. and then it, admittedly, it's not the, the fine beach quality sand, but there, mm -hmm. that's a type of sand that's mm -hmm. like they must have out there. They certainly trucked it in from somewhere, right? right? Mm -hmm. um, so uh, we could. I don't know, we could reach out within town if we reached out to Sukolowski to ask them to go down. Or, you know, somebody likes Sukolowski, it doesn't have to be Sukolowski, but it could be any. I mean, maybe one of your nephews or something across there, one of the Kolokoskis across the way could give us a friend. But um, Sukolowski does a fair amount of landscaping work. We might be able to. Mm -hmm. Look at it and say, depending on what you want to do for, for sand, if it's just the beach area and you're not worried about the swim area. Um, What's the oh, you mean the wall in, inside the water as opposed to outside the water? Yeah, that's what you're referring to the right. swim area. Okay. Yeah, I, I assume you're talking about the sand on the beach that you're walking on, and mm -hmm. right because the, the sand in the water, mm -hmm. I always found to be very pleasant to walk on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. So, do, do we know other swimming pools in the area here? What is there, Conway? Are there other similar? And, and there's, uh, I'm not aware of what well, we could, we could always go to Green River and ask them questions, but they're not doing the same thing up there. Yeah. Um, the Conway Pond is a completely different animal. Is it? But it has sand, but not as grass. No, it's grass down to the edge of the water. Yeah. And it's, mm -hmm. right, it, it's a, you know, it's a pond and it's stream fed, I believe. It's not spring fed. I think it's right. Because there's a dam. 
Yeah, think, which yeah. they had to repair, which is, you know caused them issues. Mm -hmm. In DCR, doesn't DCR run on Lake Wyola? Um, you can know. we can talk to DCR, and, and I'm happy to talk to them. You, the two guys that deal with water quality at DCR could probably point me in another direction. They will not provide assistance because right. we're not a DCR owned property. Right. They have all these great programs and they say, oh, you know, contact us about your water quality and we'll do, you know, we'll come out and do programs at your beach to assess the weeds and blah, blah, blah. And I call him up, you know, and reach out to him and he goes, no, we can't do that because you're not a DCR property, but here's, you know, and then he gave me the name. Would they like us? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean, I, we could find out who directs the, the um, you know, Lake Wyola. We could find out who takes care of Puffer's Pond. We yeah. could find right. out all these people and get a general idea, you know, and poke around. Right. Um, but are those DCR properties or are those state parks or what? No, Lake Wyola, Puffer's, Lake Wyola, the beach at Lake Wyola, um, I think is a state. I think it might be. Lake Wyola Beach. Um, Puffer's Pond is the town of Amherst. Mm -hmm. um, Conway is Conway. Green River is Green River. Uh, I don't think Bernardston has anything that I can think of. Um, I know that my daughter's town, the town of Medfield, uh, mm -hmm. has a a pond that would strike you know strikes me as being where you want to be in terms of the water water frontage in the swim area. Um, I went in there and said, man, I would not be swimming here, but uh, it was a pond that isn't even 2.7 acres. It had docks on either end, swim lanes in between, a deep area and a shallow area, and it had a beach volleyball court with sand or remarkably similar to the sand we have on our beach. Mm -hmm. Can you yeah. delve into that? Wow. Yeah. And I didn't dive into it. I went there to... But a beach volleyball player would be... Oh, yeah. yeah. And I went... Uh, you know, I was there to hunt for frogs and fish with my son outside the swim area. So, but they had aerator skull. Mm. Right. And they got money. Medfield's got money. Right. And, uh, and they, I was approached by, I would say, an 18 year old young man. And he said, Where's your pass? And I said, Well, we're here with my daughter's kids, and she has the pass, but she's, Busy delivering a baby right now, so we're having trouble getting a copy of the pass. He wasn't going to let us in, mm -hmm. no matter what story I told. Right? Mm -hmm. And finally, I think my son-in-law took time out from uh, the delivery to send us a copy of the pass. Mm -hmm. I can reach out to. I, I think I still know the person who does. She doesn't do rec. I forget what she. She lives in Burnsville, but she runs something in Amherst. Stephanie, something or other. I just wondered if there was, you know, if they already kind of have a water guru or whatever, yes. any kind of resource that they already know locally. Right. No, that's exactly. Um, let me find the guy. Um, this guy, Robert Smith, said, go to the DCR. One option would be to hire a consultant. Uh, I'm not sure I can say just anyone as a Commonwealth employee. Sure you can, you good friend. And uh, we could reach out, reach out to the Mass Congress of Lake and Pond Associations. Oh, yeah. uh, their workshops and trainings may be valuable. So there's something we can look at. Um, um, I can help you get that program going if you want to monitor environmental conditions in the pond. Um, this guy would be willing to help us out from the, you know, WRC at, at UMass. So, and, and there really is a Mass Congress of Lakes and Ponds Association. Hey, and this guy, if anybody's going to know these people, the Mass Water. I can't remember what the WRRC stands for, but it, it was one of the places I discovered at UMass and reached out to, and he was the second of two people from there that responded to me. The first one wasn't quite as, as informative, uh, and, um, and I haven't had a chance to follow up on what she had sent me either. But I've got these leads, 
Um, so it's a matter of anybody want to take on the mass? <laughs> no, I'll, I can try to reach out to the mass Congress of Lakes and Ponds Association. I'll call them. So I'll take I'll take I'll take the RFP piece and I'll call that. And I'm also going to try to see if I can find out how you know get an example of where a place like Tuffers gets their sand. Right. Um, so you're going to do that. Um, yes, that was the. Oh, here it is. M A C O lap. M A C O Macalap dot org. M C. Somewhere third but bullet, I think. Macro, yeah, macro lap. The rolling. Um. <clears throat> What was the other thing else? Oh, the other thing that I think would be well served to figure out right now is, you know, I I might be able to get somebody like Boone to volunteer. The problem is, in kind, they're going to ask for at least some free advertising. Mm -hmm. So if we could figure out how to publicize it, Boone might help with plumbing in the bathhouse. Um, Scott Bergeron's in Sunderland, so I'm not sure that that's gonna, mm -hmm. I would like to explore including Sunderland in the Tritown Beach District just out of the gate. Yeah, last time you been both let them come back. <laughs> I think they wanted to come back at one point. Oh, well, why didn't they let them? <laughs> See, I kind of want to get. <laughs> Who knows um, if they still want to come? Who knows? <laughs> well, I mean, right. Um. Oh, I'm trying to remember the guy on Christian Lane as we have real like Christian Ken. Uh, mm -hmm. Is it Ken? Across from the highway garage. Right, in the red truck. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty big, pretty big deal. I mean, he's got a lot of trucks. Right. Yeah. Carpenter, plumber, mm -hmm. and, uh, and and an electrician. And, and who knows what the slab looks like. Than it sits on. Mm -hmm. well, I can't imagine it should, it's in bad shape. But. Right, yeah, it should be fine. Do, you know, in this preliminary stage, do we want to be reaching out to um, Sue Antonellis, the recreation department in this town, to ask about what, you know, what might be, uh, might fit under the umbrella or what that facility might be able to be used for within her purview? Mm -hmm. I don't think they ever used it. No, I know that. I know I'm, that. I'm not. I'm not the guy. I'm not the right guy to reach out to. Say. So no, I'm not saying that you would. I, I could. Yeah. Diane could. I'm sure. Um, one of the two of us could talk to Sue and just say, you know, what if any involvement have you ever had over there, and what might we be? I, I'm just mm -hmm. thinking in terms of we talked about having concerts down there or something like that. I mean, she runs the concerts out here. Mm -hmm. And it's a lovely right. ball field that is in the center of town. Mm -hmm. But on a nice summer evening, if it was well mowed and the insect right. population mm -hmm. was under control, right. Right. and you've got the peaceful pond there with a mm -hmm. concert going on, you're not in right. there yeah. are no neighbors right. to speak of. Correct. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Would that be something of interest to the Recreation Commission? Would it bring people down there? Mm -hmm. Would it, uh, you know? Increase the exposure. I'm just, yeah, and I don't know what involvement, if any, she ever had with the swim program. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. My only, my only memory is that mm -hmm. when my son was probably, you know, six, mm -hmm. River Valley would spend the entire day down there. Mm -hmm. I mean, just, just all day. Mm -hmm. And right. that ended though, and then. Right. Yeah. Yeah. 
I don't think either rec department lately never did anything down there. Mm -hmm. But we had the uh, Sue Monahan had the triathlon. They did the swim part there. Did they do the swim part there? Mm -hmm. Just back and forth for X number of laps. Yeah, and they did, uh, and they all biked from there and ran from there. Oh, so it was like that? the landing. I don't remember. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. I it was the, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, she yeah, was she on the commission yeah. most recently. Yeah. Yeah, but that's where they um, started, and they had the swim lap, and then the bike lap, and then running, I think. I think it was a triathlon. Yeah, it was a triathlon. I just don't know the distance of the... Yeah, yeah. So are they in Waitley now, the Monians? So yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. They've been in Waitley for a yeah. long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, they were in time with Deerfield Line for a while. It's, it's her husband, Monahan Trucking, mm -hmm. Mike. Or and now it's their son. And now it's their mm -hmm. son, but I'm just, yeah, I mean, I'm sort of familiar with them from a project that they were trying to put through the planning board. One of our sons active on the planning board. Yeah. So. But I mean, people do come up with, you right. know, you know, right. other. Um, yeah, the, the big thing is to get the water quality and say, mm -hmm. look, we want to reopen this thing. We want to do it. Use right. community resources, volunteers. Figure it out. Yeah. And yeah. Know what to do. Yeah. Do we, do you want me to reach out to Sokolowski and ask them to go down and take a look at what it might cost to mow it, just to get a number? Sure. What it would cost to mow it, would they have any idea about putting sand and stuff down and what that might cost? And, mm -hmm. you know. And I'm going to reach out to Puffers for that same information. But yeah, sure. I mean, Sokolowski is expensive. I do know that. Mm -hmm. um, we stopped Bill using. Smith still <laughs> Bill still does it, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, Bill's cheaper, I think. Mm -hmm. I mean, didn't we stop using Sokolowski at the... Yeah. yeah. Didn't we stop using Sokolowski at the senior center? Because it was so expensive. Um, I, I'm, I don't know firsthand um, if that was the reason or we found out that we were having kind of or overlapping services. Mm -hmm. Like the rec had somebody doing something yeah, maybe, and the maybe. senior center yeah. had somebody and the library had somebody and we were but I remember Trevor and I looking at yeah. the Sokolowski bill and we mm -hmm. jumped. Because mm -hmm. it's not that big a property. <laughs> right. right. So, um, I, you know, I'm just saying that's a local. Right. And I could start there. I could start with Snows. I could start with Billy Smith and ask him where he can start this. Just to, to have an idea of what to all expand these his rep things. to expand his mowing repertoire, but I thought if right. you know if I went to one of the bigger right, they might help with mowing that. services as opposed to an individual. I don't know much about what Bill does or to just know the goodness of three or four. No, I think he's got three or four staff. I mean, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's just, yeah, I mean, he can give me a price too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, give me his contact information. I'll go through. Yeah. Go ahead. But I, they don't have to mow now. No, but they can go down and look, right? And look yeah. at the area. I think I think we can get that arranged in the springtime. Mm. We find somebody, right? Yeah. I mean, I think we need to find out what we can do about the water quality. Yeah. First. Yeah, I mean, right. that's probably fair. You know, mm. I mean, maybe the answer is um, it's a lost cause unless you want to spend three thousand, hundred thousand dollars to right. do A, B, C. Right. Um, and that's where we would have to wait for grant money to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, your optimism is good, but I just, that, I think it's best to take it one step at a time. Yeah. Sure. All right, let's do, the, let's do, let's look into the sand, mm -hmm. the water quality, the permitting. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. should I continue the conversation started with this, with Joe on a, I absolutely would. Honorado. I think that's the way get to the next level with uh, SWC, SWCA environmental, um, and poke around a little bit and see if there are other organizations similar to that that would you know if we get in because we need to get the assessment done right sooner away. rather than later. The, I mean, mm -hmm. the, the eight thousand mm -hmm. absolutely we can't hire anybody. We got to go there. Oh, that's a bid, right? Um, Unless it's 10. Why do I think it's 10 for certain things? It, well, it all got bumped out recently. Yeah. Yeah. It's 10 for certain things. And there's also. Um, I think it's like 25,000 where you have. To certain have consultative it. services, I think, are also. Mm -hmm. You don't necessarily. Well, anyways. We yeah. Can, mm -hmm. yeah. We can, uh, you know, we okay. can find out. 
Yes, we should find out the procurement mm -hmm. limits. I, I, I will ask Brian about that, and I will ask him about a sample at RFP. Um, I'll reach out to Amherst to see what Puppers does for their sand. Okay. <clears throat> and I'll reach out to Macolab. Like Wyola, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know anybody there, but yeah. Well, I'd like to do what uh, Sharon has to say. Yeah, okay, well, let's yeah. try and set up something with Sharon. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty flexible, so if you... I'll, I'll have to see what I'm setting up for my... I have to see what the weather forecast is and uh, when it's going to be sunny when I'll, I'll be picking apples for, mm -hmm. for the day instead Are of... Are you still seeking other board like members? I've got Andy Mahalik, but he's just incredibly busy, uh, as am I. Um, I see. We would need one more from each town. Mm -hmm. So I, if anyone's watching, because they're interested in Tritown Beach, yes, we still um, need a couple more people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I will continue to Some chase of the, the weeds. We'll continue mm -hmm. to vision the weeds, right? right. Um, I'm assuming if they're hanging on the zoom. Do you want to be there? <laughs> the try or if it's not of interest to you, that's fine. Okay. Um, uh, I'll, uh, I'll poke around potentially on that as well. Okay, I'll do. So I'm to take. I'll Amherst. do puffers. I'll do. I'll do Amherst. I'll do puffers. Mm -hmm. um, I was. I was going to say I was going to call people from Conway, but you're right. It could grass. Yeah, there's nothing. It's not the same. Not the same condition. It's a nice. It's right. a nice facility, but mm -hmm. uh, they have more mosquitoes. Right. They have a lot of mosquitoes. Mm -hmm. So, all right.